When a poster says, you can do anything at the library, it does not mean you can host a circus at the library. And you don't want to either. Trust me. If you ever want to bring a circus to the library, don't. Written and illustrated by Elise Parsley. If you see a poster that says, you can do anything at the library, it means you can sit and read a book and use your imagination. It does not mean you can bring in a whole circus. If you set up your circus anyway, the librarian will remind you, don't let it get too noisy. You can tell him that it's okay and that you know all the library rules. The circus will be safe and fun and you'll only use your inside voice. Cross your heart. You'll start by wowing the crowd as an acrobat. You'll leap and twirl and balance on one foot. Then you'll do it again, only this time on a high wire. You'll leap and twirl and you'll tell the audience to please hold their applause because you can do anything at the library except clap. Next up, your clown act. You'll ask for a volunteer from the audience to smash a pie in your face. You'll give your silliest look and she'll wind up. That's when you'll surprise her with your spare. You'll have to remind the audience not to cheer. This is a library after all, and you can do anything at the library except clap and cheer. At intermission, you'll hand out concessions, peanuts, popcorn, egg and cheese sandwiches. Only get this, it turns out you can do anything at the library except clap and cheer and hand out concessions. No food or drink. All right, you didn't want to do this, but you'll have no choice. You have got to dazzle this crowd and you'll do it as the amazing human cannonball. You'll clip on your helmet and warn everyone to stay back. Then you'll count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If your cannon is a dud, you'll hear a kid say, boo. You'll start to shush him because you can do anything at the library except boo. By now, of course, you'll wish you were sitting and reading and using your imagination instead of leading a circus. By now, you'd rather be scraping gum off of some chairs than leading a circus. You will have time to think of something quick before the crowd yells for you to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Look for a way to distract them. You'll read about the three billy goats and the booing will stop. You'll read about the hungry old troll and the smiling will start. You'll begin shouting, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And... Baboomba! Ugh! Bam!
Bam! when you'll know it's time to take your show on the road. Yeah, if you ever want to bring a circus to the library, don't. It's way too noisy. Hello, friends. If you want, you can check out my other if you ever want to bring books, I have lots of books. If you'll come take a look and subscribe to my channel, Storytime with Lorelei. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.